bike, cool bike. Dynamite 647 here. Being, uh, this vlog has been long overdue. Uh, mainly wanted to talk about my track experience. I went to a motorcycle racetrack. It was my first time going on a motorcycle track, and boy, what a what experience it was. Uh, uh, you know, anyone riding a sports bike, motorcycle, I would suggest they. Uh, if they have the opportunity they should definitely go to check out a motorcycle track because before I went there I, I've been riding for quite a few years but I always thought you know what I was uh, I was doing everything right I was leaning in correctly in the corners and uh, everything was good and it's not until I went to the track I realized how many mistakes I was making so the track really did help me you know is uh, so the track I went to it's called uh, Shannonville Mosford and I went to uh, fast riding school they basically provide you with uh, riding gear, gloves, helmet, everything. They had uh, full suits. They also had uh, the uh, Rai helmets. And Rai helmets are actually really amazing. Now I understand why they're so expensive. I mean, these helmets were quiet and also comfortable, quiet. And uh, the aerodynamics were really good. There was uh, very minimal movement at high speeds. Because on a track, you're for the most part you're riding at very high speeds, and they also have the option of uh, you taking your own bike. But I don't want to take this bike for obvious reasons, so I chose their bike. Uh, they they're pretty brand new. Uh, they have uh, new bikes actually, like the 2012 GSX R600, Yamaha R6, ZX6R. They even have the. Uh, SV 650 and the Kawasaki Ninja 300 so if somebody wants to choose those as well I went with my, with my brother and uh, I chose the GSX-R600 my brother chose the ZX-6R uh, I think for me the GSX-R was a perfect ra uh, racetrack bike because it's so easy to get used to and uh, it's a very forgiving bike basically you show up there early in the morning around 8 o'clock uh, there's a lot of theory which I didn't like it was boring but you know there's a lot of theory and uh, basically they divide you into two separate groups so one while one group is in class during the theory session the other group is out there uh, writing and I was in group A so you know you suit up you go out there obviously you walk the track uh, now as you can see uh, there's a picture of the track itself it's not the uh, the most extreme track or uh, not the longest track but it's good enough for beginners right it's good enough for learning so you walk the track then you sit on your bike you know once you get comfortable uh, you basically follow the leader for each group and uh, you start off very slow just to get used to the track you get used to the bike then as the day progresses you're going faster and faster and at the end of the day which is around five o'clock they just let you go by yourself in groups so you just go one by one unfortunately when i was there there were a couple of crashes this one girl she crashed and uh oops so this one girl she crashed and then uh this other guy he crashed now back to the uh, map of the track the most dangerous turns were turn two and three the reason being is coming out of turn one you're so fast uh, you have to be pretty precise when you're braking and uh, cornering during turn two and three especially because if you misjudge, misjudge those you go too fast you know you're gonna go shoot straight out and crash and this is the spot where both these crashes occur right in the in the exact same spot the girl was okay when they brought her bike back it wasn't it wasn't uh, damaged that much the front end was still intact the, the, the windshield was missing she was on the ninja 300 uh, the guy he was on r6 and uh, his bike was pretty messed up I mean it was the front end everything was just completely gone the forks was twisted everything right the handlebars were gone so and they have ambulance on site so pretty quickly they were able to uh, 
control the situation but uh, I mean nevertheless accidents do happen and the thing the instructor was the instructor was telling us to is just be yourself uh, you know just take your time learn is the police I thought for a second I thought he's behind me <laughs> because he didn't uh, he didn't light up well he did light up his lights but I couldn't hear his siren when he was behind me those moments are always scary you know <laughs> and I'm definitely planning to go there next year hopefully if I save up enough money uh, what happens is the school they have uh, three three different phases right so I went to the phase one which is Begner phase the next phase is phase two phase three which is more riding more higher speed more technique now for the track when I went there for the video what happened is in the beginning I was using their helmet and stuff so I didn't have my GoPro mounted plus I just want to focus on riding uh, so I didn't record anything uh, towards the end of the end of the day when they were saying now you guys can just go by yourself I did mount the GoPro but I mounted it on my I use a chest mount and the problem with chest mount is when you're leaning especially on the track you just constantly lean like that uh, because of higher speeds I thought I had I had pointed the camera upwards upwards but uh, when I came home the video was just garbage I mean I'll show you <laughs> I'll show you some of it but uh, it was just unfortunately you know I captured nothing and uh, all you could see was the gas tank which is pretty cool guys thanks for uh, tuning in and please do subscribe uh, and hopefully I will see you guys in my next vlog see you guys later